What's going on everyone? All right, today I'm gonna be working on the rear of my car again. Last video I did the 0506 conversion. This video I am going to be throwing on this duck bill right here. And as you can see, I have the APR wing on right now. Um, so this APR, I think this is just the universal wing. That's why the holes don't line up with the stock um, Type R holes or the A-spec wing holes. Um, so this is just, I think, a universal APR wing. And this is the anointed arrow extended studs or extended risers for that wing. And then this is the actual APR spacer riser that you that you can buy off the APR website. So I just stacked all those together to get the height I wanted. That's what I got there. So you can see some of the clears peeling on the edges. But I'm gonna take this off because I've had this on for a while. And I'm gonna throw that duck bill on. That's what we're gonna do today. Shouldn't be that hard. Um, shouldn't be hard at all. Um, all I'm gonna do is take the four bolts to, that holds the wing on. And then I'm going to, the only thing I can do right now is 3M tape this to the back. Um, there's no holes, mounting holes or anything like that. And I don't know if I'll be able to do any like studs, like install any studs on this because it's pretty thin at the end and this is where the, the holes line up on the trunk. So 3M tape will hold it. I got 3M tape holding the louvers here. So I don't have any, I don't have any worries that it won't come off or anything like that because I mean this thing is pretty heavy and then 3M tape's holding that down and I haven't had any problems with that. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get this wing taken off and slap the other one on. Alright, so where I had the, the, the APR wing mounted, um, as you can see right here, these are the stock ones. This one right here lines up to be inside here. I had the drill and then put the take my whole panel off wing right here on the hatch and then stick my arm up in here to get the bolts on. Um, I did have to do that for both sides. So I'm going to have to take off this panel here um, to do that. I'm gonna have to remove the bolt from here on each side. This should clip right out. I think there's one bolt on the back side right here. I don't know if you can see that right there. And then once I take that out, this is this back piece should start to pop out as well. And once I get that off, I'll be able to access the bolts and the nuts for the wing here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Get that taken care of. Pull the wing off. All right, got it all off. You can see everything's exposed all the way around. So yeah, you take side pillars off here and then both of them off before you can knock the uh, top piece off and you wanna push it forward. So you wanna get up under there and push it forward on both sides and it should pop right off. This is it right here. So I don't know if you can see in here, you can kinda see it. There's a bolt right there for that side. The other one's kinda like right over here, but back here. I'm able to stick my hand in there and get to both of those. That's the easy one. This is the hard one here. Um, I don't know if you can see. You can't really tell. But there's one bolt right here. I can get to that one. And the other one's like right up in here. So it makes it kind of hard um, to get to it. But I just got to get my hand up in there to take them off. And then this wing will come off. So there's a bolt. One bolt for this back side. One bolt for the front side. And the same on the other side. And then this wing will come right off. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take those off and then mock up the duck bill and see how she looks Okay, just pulled the wing off She's sitting right over here, but yeah, this is the aftermath. I hate any wings you put on any cars. There's no way you can protect the paint or anything like that. It's kind of hard to see. But yeah, I had rubber gaskets that were meant to not damage the car and all that. But with all the downforce it sees and all that, there's no way you can prevent that from happening. Same thing with the, the wing here. You can see there's little aftermarks from when I had the other wing. There's just no way to protect it. And yeah, this one. 
I guess the rubber was going bad on this one because it's pretty on there. I'm gonna have to scrape that off somehow. Maybe get some goo gone on there or something. Same thing over here. Right over in here. But I'm gonna clean that off. And well, before I do that, I'm gonna mock up the duck bill just to see how, how it looks. I'll take, pop this one out on the other side and just sit it up here, then do a little walk around just to see how it looks. She's on. Well, not technically, but that's how it looks. She's gonna look pretty good. Man. This is the side view. Man, 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 man. I am going to have some issues um, right here. This is the stock hole for the A spec high rise wing or whatever you want to call it. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be it's barely covering it. It's like halfway covering the hole. I'm going to have to find a way to uh, somewhat cover that up when I put this on. Um, the other ones covered up this one I'll just plug that one like I did with this with that one and on the other side there this one over here I'll probably just throw some 3M tape over that hole and I'll basically seal it up so the water will get in that but this one it's gonna be a different story I'm gonna have to brainstorm and see what I can do for this one but other than that it looks really good and this is the anointed arrow uh, high, or duck bill the version 3 so, pretty cool Okay, so I cleaned up this area here, got it all nice and as best as I could. Um, I plugged this hole with one of these, I actually put a little gasket on this and then stuck it in there. So hopefully that'll be watertight. This is the main one hole I'm worried about, not getting water. These don't matter because this just runs down on the side um, of your trunk here. So it doesn't really matter that water gets there. Uh, but this one's the main one and then that one back here, but I 3M taped it. Like that. Um, this hole here, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that. I'll probably just leave it open for now until I figure out something. But like I said, that one's gonna run down along the side and run out, out to the floor. So it's not gonna be much of a big deal. Same with that side. Everything's looking good. Got my 3M tape on here. All I gotta do now is peel it off and stick it on and that's it, I'll be done. Okay, she's on, nice and sturdy, not going anywhere. That's how she looks. Nice high rise duck bill, I love it. On the back side or front side. With the louvers. This is why I really wanted it because I thought this would look really good with the louvers that since I have them on and then having this just rigid and then coming back up. Looks good. I love it. That's it. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Uh, this is probably going to be a short video just because putting on a duck bill is not that hard. Not, not much you do to it, just put it on, just slap some 3M tape on it and then put it on your car. Uh, longest part's probably taking that other wing off on my car, but yeah, that's it. She looking good. But yep, be sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And yeah, I'll see you on the next video.